Konnichiwa, konbangwa. Welcome back to my channel Japan Enthusiast. And in this video, I will talk about my top 15 anime song of all time. So um, instead of making the a list about the male singer, I prefer to make the list for the female singer from my list. Uh, I already made a Lisa top 15 and then this time is Aimer's turns. So let's get straight to the list. <laughs> Number 15, Asa Gakuru. So this one is the ending of the Kimetsu no Yaiba Yukaku Hen and I'm not really liking this song. I mean, when it compares to the other song, it feels a little bit lesser impactful uh, compared to the others. And even for the ending uh, compared to the opening, it's very, very uh, distant differences, um, I, I believe. I much more prefer the opening than the ending, but it's still a very decent song. I mean, Aimer never made a bad song, so I put it on my number 15. Number 14, Torches. So Torches is the ending of the Finland saga, and I believe most of you will uh, surprise by this song put on the 40th place because a Finland saga is very very popular anime and also uh, this song is very popular song from her and I when I compare it to the rest uh, of the song from this list uh, I believe Torches is one of the lesser impactful one and that's the reason why I put it on my number 14 <laughs> Number 13, Reef Rain or Ref Rain or the Ref. I don't know how to read it, but you know the song, it's the ending of the Koi Ame, um, the one of the um, heartwarming kind of anime, and this is kind of the heartwarming ending also, and I am really liking this ending. I, I believe the this is one of the most soothing and relaxing kind of song from Aimer and that's the reason why I put it on my number 13. Number 12, Re Pray. So another Re kind of song at the title i don't know where why i i may have, um, named this song like this the replay uh, is the ending uh the 20th ending i mean the bleach ending 29 uh, and this is one of the most impactful if not the Im most impactful uh i think it's the best ending from bleach oh I believe, uh, I don't know if I just like this song or uh, uh, yeah, compared to the other ending of Bleach, uh, although there are so many ending and replay still on my top and that's the reason why I put it on my number 12. Number 11, Re I Am. So this one is very very catchy song, uh, I mean it's more like orchestra kind of song and this is the uh, ending for the mobile suit Gundam Unicorn and I believe many of you that don't know what is the Gundam Unicorn and but you will recognize this song immediately because it's very very catchy re i am and it is another re song i mean the title is always consists of re re and re and because i like this kind of style of song uh, i put it on my number 11. number 10 starring child or star Ring child, I don't know. Uh, it is she has the reason put the star and ring in the same sentences, uh, although it's not make any sense. 
and this song is also came from the Gundam Unicorn and I believe this is a little bit stronger song because when Re I Am is more like orchestra uh, Starring Child it sounds like a song a more proper song or the usual song that sing by her and that's the reason why I put it on my number 10 <laughs> Number 9, Stand Alone. So this one is the first um, Aimer song that's not uh, being the opening or ending in any anime. And Stand Alone is just that, uh, that good. I mean, um, it's still uh, lingering on my memory. Uh, and I I could not um, believe that I'm... This may be uh, one of my most favorite songs from Aimer uh, that's not come from the anime and stand alone, just stand alone. Uh, that's why I put it on my number 9. Number 8, Last Stardust. So this one is the insert song uh, for the... Um, Fat Stay Night Unlimited Black Works second season, I believe. And this one is another orchestra type of song from Aimer, and I love it. Uh, I even more love it than Re I Am because uh, this one feels very epic because it is the insert song, not the ending and not the opening. And that's the reason why I put Lost Stardust on my number 8. <laughs> Number 7, I Beg You So the I Beg You is the ending of the second Fat Stay Night movie uh, The Fat Stay Night movie Heaven's Feel Lost Butterfly, I believe um, This one is has the uniqueness uh, from it I, I mean, it just different, it's different And that's the reason why I put it on my number 7 Number 6, Haru Wayuku. This one may be the most one of the most epic song from Aimer and it is used as the ending or the theme song for the Fat Stay Night movie Heaven's Feel 3 Spring Song. And this really really stuck on my mind. I believe um I don't know the words but the um melody itself it really stuck on my mind for very long time and that's the reason why I put it on my number six number five Zankyo Zanka and this is one of the newest songs from Aimer it is used as the opening of the Kimetsu no Yaiba Yukakuhen and as I said before I much prefer this opening uh, compared to the ending Asagakuru and I believe this is a decent placement for the Zankyo Zanka. I believe that I really like this song, although it's not my most favorite song from Aimer and also not my most favorite anime opening. And that's the reason why I put it on number 5. Number 4, Spark Again. This one is from the Enen no Shobotai Nino Show, uh, the second season of the uh, Fire Force. And this one is very, very banger. I mean, um, the action on the anime uh, and with this kind of song, I it, it's match made in heaven, I believe. I, I'm really liking this song. I'm really liking the opening of the Enen no Shobotai. Uh, this is the best Enen no Shobotai opening actually and um, that's the reason why i put spark again on my number four number three brave shine this one the most memorable anime opening from fate series i believe a uh, beside of the oath signed by Lisa, the very first uh, Fat Zero opening, this one is the second best. 
from the whole faith uh, song i mean uh, i may sing very ma- i mean many of the uh, faith series uh, song but this one is the best compared to all of them and the most memorable and the most catchy and that's the reason why i put brave shine on my number three <laughs> Number two, Koi Wazurai. This one is not from any anime. This is just her song, uh, similar with the stain alone. And I really like Koi Wazurai vibe. I mean, um, I'm really chilling, relaxing. Uh, I I really enjoy this. It is of easy to listen and uh, Koi Wazurai almost perfect. But there are only one song from Aimer that better than this song uh, and that's the reason why I put Koi Wazurai on my number two number one Kata Omoi this one really just speaks uh, Aimer vibe I mean uh, it's it's uh, sounds like Aimer just talking with this song and not uh, not trying to singing hard and that's why I love this song so much. I mean, it's just like her telling the story of uh, what her uh, what's on her mind through this song and that's the reason why I put Kata Omoi as the best Aimer song of all time. So, do you agree with my list? Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video, thumbs down if you dislike it, subscribe to my channel, and share it to the people who also are Japan enthusiasts. And thanks for watching. Jenny.